Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to update your PS5 controller on your PC, meaning there is no actual PS5 console required for this update. So let's go ahead and jump into the computer and I'll show you guys how it is done. So you want to go over to this website here, which I'll leave linked down in the description and just click download right here. That is going to download the firmware update for our controller. So once that's downloaded, just click that. I'm going to click yes, click OK, give that a second to install. OK, and then once it's installed, click next. Just click yes on the terms, next, and then you can go ahead and save it to wherever you want. I'll just leave it wherever it is right there. Uh, go ahead, click next again, and then click install. And again, we're just going to wait uh, and let it install. Shouldn't take too long. All right, it's finished installing. Took about 10 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and click launch program and then click finish. So we should see the program launch here in just a second. And yeah, there we go. So it's asking us to plug our controller in via USB cable. That is USB type C. So we're going to go ahead, plug in our control. Once that is plugged in, you'll see this pop up. It will say update available. It will have the firmware. I don't know if that's the firmware that is currently on or the firmware it's updating to. I think that might be the firmware it's currently on. We'll see it after we update it. So let's go ahead, click update now. And we'll just wait for that to finish updating. All right, and that is just about done updating. We're at 100%. And it says the wireless controller firmware update is complete. Go ahead, click OK. And yeah. So that was the firmware we were on. So this is the firmware we're now on, which is 0297. And that is it. It is that simple. You do not need a PS5 console anymore to update your PS5 controller, which is super convenient for the PC community. I know a lot of PC gamers, including myself, that use the PS5 controllers to game on, and I haven't been able to update them since I bought them. So like I keep saying, the PS5 controller is becoming more and more compatible with PC, which I am really happy to see since it is such a good controller. But anyways, if you guys found this video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications because I've got content just like this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.